Welcome to Dragon Brain. My name is David. And we are here today to talk about the NFL and man caves. So, amidst all the political bickering and arguing and all this stuff, a certain demographic has been left out. And that's people that want to not hear any of it. And where do you go if you're a guy and you're sick of hearing about toxic masculinity and, uh, like, all the political junk that you just don't give a damn about? You go to your man cave and you watch football. And it's like, ah, oh, at last. Except <laughs> now they are politicizing football. And all those guys sitting in their man cave watching football are going, Dear God! Is there no escape? <laughs> so, um, you liberals may think that you are making the world a better place, but what you're doing is you're finding people that have opted out of the political conversation or are sick of the political conversation and are sick of being told about toxic masculinity. Maybe they're sick of the conservative stuff too. Who knows? But they have retreated from the sphere where politics exists, and they're just trying to enjoy themselves. They're trying for a little escapism at a nice, manly sort of entertainment. They're watching the NFL, and they just want to watch the NFL. They're not there for political discussion, but you guys are crawling into their cave and poking them with a stick. And that's not going to be good for you. It's going to lose you votes, it's going to lose you public support, but, I mean, not my problem. I'm just letting you know what's going to go what's going to go down. Now, on top of that, <laughs> now we're getting articles on how the man cave itself is sexist and horrible for men and detaches them from society. It's like that's kind of the point. But not that it's horrible for men, but they want to get away from the garbage once again. They're retreating from maybe it's the wife, maybe it's politics in general, maybe just the entire world, and going in and working with carpentry stuff, or working on your, their car, or watching the NFL, doing manly stuff, or just, you know, stuff they want to be left alone at, and now people are condemning the man cave as a horrible, oppressive, patriarchal thing. It's like, can't they just have this one little area where they can be left alone? Apparently not. So... You're poking them in the head, well, poke, 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 and then they crawl into their man cave to hide. <laughs> it's like, but no, you crawl in there and poke, 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 poke. It's like, man caves are bad. It's like, no, they're not. Uh, they're no more bad than somebody sewing a craft room is bad. Leave people alone. This is the message that some of you people need to understand. If people opt out of politics, if they're opting out of all the stupidity that's currently bubbling in the public debate, and you go in and poke them, you do not make allies. What you're making is angry people who, if anything, are now less predisposed to listen to you. But, again, not my problem. So, uh, enjoy the negative consequences of your overreach, <laughs> and this is Dragon Mind. Out.